All right, Dick, intro time. And this time, we've created an abomination. An abomination. An abomination. An abomination. <laughs> so for this combo, we're first going to start by equipping a Shadow Blade to make our hero immune. Then we're going to play a Spirit Singer Umbra, and we're going to give Umbra the immune effect via a Death Speaker. Then we're going to play a Kobold Illusionist, with the only two minions in our hand being the other Kobold Illusionist and an Abomination. And because of Umbra's effect, this will set off a chain reaction that will eventually OTK the opponent. Now one downside to this combo is that it's not 100% consistent. When we play Umbra and the Kobold Illusionist, basically three things can happen. It can work perfectly, and we OTK the opponent. We can pull too many Kobold Illusionists and fill the board, or we can pull too many Abominations early and break the chain. So I think that's pretty much it for the deck intro this time, guys. Now this combo is one of my favorites of all time, because the ending is simply spectacular. I hope you enjoy it, best of luck to you, and thanks so much for watching. Ooh, that's pretty good. He has a pretty nice hand. Oh, never mind. He has Soul Fire me on turn one, really. Great. The sad part is I have a really good hand, but you know, it's still gonna take some effort to get there. The truth is in here. <laughs> Soul fired and fisted already. Feels bad, man. Okay. Uh, you know, just just three discard synergies on turn three already. Cool, cool, sweet. Always awesome. Let's have a good answer here, relatively. Oh, thank you, Sober, for the uh, Twitch Prime. Makes Spiteful Summoner great again. It's still okay. It's a little bit slow nowadays, I suppose, for Wild, but... You are not the boss of great! Me. I need to kill it, I think. It feels so bad, though. Am I in lockdown? No. But there's a hurricane coming tomorrow for me, so that's fun. <laughs> so it may be a, uh, a shorter stream today, because I need to run some errands this afternoon before the hurricane comes tomorrow. <laughs> so. I got some stuff I need to do. I have all my minions, right? We actually could still win, but it's still unlikely. <laughs> it is still an unlikely win. You were just a burden. Great! That's fair. Hurricane party. No. The truth is in here. Well, I thought that's a good discard for me, I guess. Where are the odds I'm dead, guys? Like a million percent? You are not the boss of me. <sighs> this deck is so dumb. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I'm dead. Actually, I'm not dead on board, but it's pretty dang close. I have to get to 10 mana, though, right? So there's no way for me to get there. What we do. 
Justice is mine. That's so dumb. Like, <laughs> I'm literally one turn away. Oh, so maybe I'm not dead here. I could be dead here, but... There's nothing I have in my deck that will save me next turn. I guess a fan might save me if he has nothing. Fan of knives. I mean, I'm, prob I'm probably dead here, realistically. Okay. And I'm dead. Is it still a tie if I don't use the Shadow Blade? Or do I die first? <laughs> Does anyone know? Am I dead? Let's find out. Let's see if it's a tie. Oh snap, it's a tie. Cool. <laughs> One man away from being a win. Oh, it actually says tie now. It didn't use to, it. Didn't used to say that, right? I feel like it used to say just like you lost. It says tie now. That's interesting. When have they changed that? That definitely was not there before. <laughs> Unless he's like tempo or divine spirit or fire, we should win this game pretty easily. Hail, friend. We'll see. Oh, I don't even have to shadow step that one then. I can shadow step that one. Okay. What do you guys think he is? A big priest? <laughs> Res priest? What's he gonna be? So many wonderful options in wild. Nothing. No, no hit. I need him to play something so I can use my removal. <laughs> it's probably infiltrate our time anyway. Right. I'm so shocked, guys. How could he do this to me? <laughs> Any, anytime. There we go. So I only have two minions left, right? Or no, I have three minions left. Okay. Think. Let's do this. Fine. How many fingers do Whoa. you see? Whoa, that's weird. Holy jump. I'm gonna waste this. There once was a man from Gilneas. Keep my hand clear. Nice. Let's play Thoris the next turn. How many fingers do you see? I don't see any fingers in this card. No fingers. Whoa. Some kind of heal freeze. Okay. Yeah. Everybody gets with Thor Sand. Interesting. I chose not to play it. They are interesting.
You like the card reveal? I'm glad. It's fun. It's a shame because like they actually came out with like a a uh, Boulder Fist Ogre type card like right after I did my card reveal. Which feels bad. <laughs> so feels bad, man. Why couldn't they just give me that card to reveal? Oh, I probably should have trade that first, actually. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's fine. So make sure I have an extra one. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Is he not even gonna kill that? <laughs> the greatest merchandise is based. What we do? I always feel like this deck has like one of the most spectacular finishes of any Hearthstone deck. It's incredible. Why are the numbers not going down anymore, guys? You wanna figure that one out? Why are they not getting more negative? Anyone? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Minus six. <laughs> sure. Well, I have the top deck uh, Death Speaker next turn. And not die here, obviously. Yeah, we're in a Death Speaker. One and eight. Oh my god. <laughs> Please let this work this time. Come on. Hooray! We won! <laughs> what a way to win a game. 
against a board full of jade. Got it. <laughs> Still one of the best finishes in the entire game. Oh hi Mark. To this day. <laughs>